This is Empowering Women Everywhere. I am your host, Nan Gill, and today our guest is Deborah Glenn. She is the owner and founder of Sunshine Apothecary. Can you explain to us a little bit about what Sunshine Apothecary is? Okay. Um, I kind of go out into the woods and I forage for mushrooms, flowers, roots, barks, berries, and then I have an herbal garden that I use the herbs from there as well. <clears throat> and then I create creams and salves and potions and things like that. Herbal teas. Okay. So what are some of the products that you have? Well, my main product that I do is called Prim Pain Relief in Minutes. I had a health food store for 21 years, and I had a lot of customers that would come in. They were in a terrible amount of pain. So I decided that I needed to help them out, so I created this product called Prim Pain Relief in Minutes. And it's made with St. John's Ward. Chaga mushroom, three essential oils, and then there's the fillers are like coconut oil, beeswax, aloe vera gel. But when you apply it, it gets rid of your pain within three to five minutes. There's no toxic chemicals or anything in it. The preservative is vitamin E. It doesn't sting or burn. Well, I can vouch for you on that because I had a car accident, and uh, one of your faithful clients lent me some of that prim mm -hmm. and I used it and I was surprised how quickly it worked. So where did you get your start in uh, I, herbal medicine I guess? It yeah is. I just decided that I was going to uh, start a health food store. I had no background in it. Uh, several people told me I'd be really good at doing it because I was in sales and I just got my money together and created the store. And then I started to, I love being out in the garden. So I started making some oils and then I would make some salves and just put those all together. And, um, and it's just blossomed from there. But I did sell my store back in December of 2018 uh -huh. so that I could totally work on my apothecary and build that and I sell Prim all over the country, um, and I have it up in Canada. I have 45 wholesale accounts, and it's just been incredible. So Prim has taken off? Yes. Okay. Now where, I understand you started with a medicine man? Yes. He was from, uh, his name was Freda, and he was from the uh, Penobscot Indian, um, Indian tribe. Uh-huh. And uh, that was very enlightening. <laughs> so he helped yeah. you in, in formulating? In, in a, um, most of my formulas that I do just pop into my head. Uh -huh. um, but he gave me the knowledge of some of the herbs that I was not using. Right. Uh, they use a lot of red willow. Uh, they actu actually call it uh, poor man's tobacco. So you can take the bark and you can smoke it. Uh, yeah, so I, I learned quite a bit from him. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And you studied reflexology? Yes. Now where did you study reflexology? At the International Institute of Reflexology. It's out of St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh -huh. And I went, you, you have to complete four courses within two years. Okay. And, but you can take the crash course uh, for six days, and that's considered for uh, three different classes. Okay. So I took one class and then went in, took four more, or three more, and became a certified reflexologist. Okay. Which is really excellent to know where those nerve endings are located, because when someone has pain, right. you can apply it on the opposite end of where those nerve endings that come from that area, right. on the bottom of the foot or the top of the foot, and they can get a lot more pain relief. St. John's wort, the main ingredient that's in Prim, is considered a nervine. Hi, I'm Debbie from the Sunshine Apothecary, and I would like to introduce you to my best friend. This is St. John's wort, Hypericum perforatum. 
It's excellent for healing inflammation and pain. And you can see why. When you look at the back of the flower, it has little lines in it that are, they look brown, but it's actually a red oil sac. And that's where all the healing properties come from St. John's Ward. So what I do is I pick the flower, it goes into oil, goes in the greenhouse for two weeks, and it becomes this beautiful, beautiful red oil. Now back in the 1800s, every farmer had red oil in their um, kitchen and they use this for their aches and pains. So what I have done is I combine the St. John's wort with chaga mushroom. Chaga is anti-inflammatory also and I created a product that I call Prim, pain relief in minutes. You put this on, in three to five minutes you have pain relief and your pain stays gone for hours. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Debbie from the Sunshine Apothecary. We're here in beautiful Camden, Maine at the Harbor Arts and Book Fair. And I would like to demonstrate on how to apply Prim Pain Relief in Minutes on your knee when you have a knee problem. So, over here is my friend Jill and she has volunteered to help us out with this. And we have Nancy on the camera also. <laughs> okay. You can you can zoom in. Come in closer. Okay. So can you put your foot up here. Alright, now anytime you have a problem with the knee, Prim has a very, very hard time penetrating through the kneecap. So all the nerve endings from the knee end up right here on the top part of the foot. So if you see Jill has a little bit of problem going on with her knee. This spongy part right here indicates to me that there's inflammation going on in the knee. So we're going to take a little tiny bit and we're going to apply it here. Rub that in firmly. Little bit of pressure. Now what this is going to do is it's going to penetrate the skin the way I put this together and it's going to attach to the nerve endings and it's going to go from the inside up on the nerve path reducing any inflammation that it finds and then we're going to come up here to the knee and we're going to apply it all over the knee and anytime you apply firmness makes it penetrate the skin and it just goes deep down in and reducing reduces the inflammation thank you so it works on the nerve path and the way I put it together it penetrates the skin and attaches to the nerve endings uh -huh. so to get rid of knee pain for example you would need to apply it to the top part of the outside of the foot because that's where the nerve endings are and then it'll go back up the nerve path and reduce any inflammation that's behind the kneecap so if someone is having knee pain or pain in their arms or anything mm -hmm. like that, they can give you a call and you'll tell them? Oh, definitely. Okay. Yep. And what number can they reach you at? 207-416-4885. Uh, okay. so, and I do know a lot of people that have used your products mm -hmm. and have found relief from them. So um, what other products do you have available? Okay, the first product that I ever created was 3C's Healing Salve. It has calendula, comfrey, chickweed, but then there's also yellow dock, yarrow, plantain, St. John's warts in there as well. Um, and it will heal a cut or a scrape okay. from the inside out with no infection. Well, that sounds good. Um, I have, that's the one product that has three different names. So it has 3C's, then it also has baby butt juice, and because that's for diaper rash and then a friend of mine came in my store one day and he had his daughter's dog with him and the dog had a really bad looking nose oh. had splits and cracks in it oh. so we put three C's on it right and I gave him one to try he took it home they put it on the dog's nose twice a day and after three days the dog had a new nose 
So that's my product. It was the same the nose, one. but it didn't have the splits. Yeah. No more splits. Okay, good. And it would, and so I call it new nose. Okay. So, but it is the three C's healing salve. Okay. And what other products? Do you have? I also make beautiful face creams using calendula. And what is calendula? Calendula is a beautiful yellow flower okay. that loves the sun, and it's been used for centuries for healing the skin. Okay. And I uh, make several other healing creams. I took the Three C's Healing Salve and just used the oil part of it and put chaga mushroom. Chaga is very healing to the skin as well. It's really good for eczema, psoriasis, uh -huh. and created four C's healing cream. So calendula, comfrey, chickweed, and chaga. Okay. And it went from a salve to a cream and really good for um, eczema, psoriasis. And then there's that little brown tail moth, the caterpillar nest that's in the trees. Right. And I remember as a little girl, my mom always telling us to stay away from them, and for good reason. They have little hairs all over their body, and if the um, if it, the caterpillar falls on your skin, right. the hairs come off, go into the skin, and cause a really bad rash. Oh. Very irritating. Uh, it's itchy. It's painful. Now, what kind of moths are these? The, cater the brown tail moth. Brown tail moth. And it's the nest, those nests that you see in the tree, right. like when you're driving down the highway. Yeah, yeah, I never had any feeling that I wanted to touch them. Anyway. I know. No, you know, I'm not <laughs> So what were you going to tell us about the brown tail? Uh, that's what? it. The Four C's Healing Cream will actually pull those stingers right really? out of the skin. Yeah. Wow. Well, some of the herbs in, in it, plantain, uh, the comfrey, the chickweed, those are all drying. Right. And the St. John's Word helps with the swelling and okay. the inflammation. Yep. Now, for moisturizer for your face. That's the calendula, the right. face cream. And that works well? Yes. Okay. All right. And then we have shingles. Right. A lot of, a lot of elderly people, people and yeah. you know, a lot of younger people suffer from that as well. Right. Um, it could be brought on by a stressful situation in someone's life. But the shingle cream has a lot of different herbs in it and uh, a few essential oils. And it, and again, St. John's Wort is one of the items that are in there. Um, it helps to take care of the stinging, the burning, and the itching. Okay. That shingles causes. Cool. So, and when you were a, um, a young child, you used to spend a lot of time in the woods collecting stuff. Um, I, not really collecting a lot too much when I was younger. Okay. Uh, but I did spend a lot of time out in the fields with my grandmother, and um, we would do a lot of hiking in the woods and. <clears throat> But there was a, uh, they came from the mountains in Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Mountains. Uh -huh. And they lived, the farm was way up on top of the mountain, and it took quite a while to get into town. Of course, it was, you know, mostly horse and buggy back then. Right. And they had a medical family book, and I ended up with that book. So I what get. What's the name of the book? Uh, it's called Gunn's Family Physician. It was written in 1864. Okay. And so I get a, quite a bit of my reference from that book. Okay. And I have another one that was given to me. And that one is a physician's book that was written by a physician. And every doctor in the country in the 1800s had one of those books in their library. That's the book that they used. And it just starts off, oh, oh, it's pretty thick, about four inches, and it has everything that you need to know about an herb. Right. So if you pick up a book today, okay. and you read, and you pick up this book, they're pretty much identical. So somebody's copied a lot of information out of so the So most of the books. herbal healing that we have came from the doctors years ago. Oh, many, many years ago. Yeah. So they were healing with herbs also. Yes. And then we kind of went on to medicine. Even uh, during biblical times, uh, Achilles, he was the one that used um, 
yarrow, which the botanical name is Achillea myfolium, and he used that a lot to heal his soldiers' wounds. It would stop bleeding. So maybe that's where they got it. If the botanical name was from him. Right, yeah. Cool. The 1600s, there was a herbalist called Culpepper, and he took St. John's wort and he studied it for 32 years and found out every property that there was to do with that herb. To do with that. Yeah. So what are some of the good things that happen with St. John's wort? What can you use well, it for? and nowadays they use it for mild depression. Okay. Uh, and they say that if you are on an MOA inhibitor, not to take St. John's wort. Um, What's an MOA inhibitor? Uh, for depression. Okay. So, but it will, um, it's anti-inflammatory and it's also a nervine. And the, you have to explain to everybody what's a nervine. <laughs> a nervine is an herb that supports the nervous system. Okay. Yep. Valerian would be another one of those. Okay. So you basically can, um, you do mostly herbal with the creams. And yes. do you do vitamins as well? Or? No. No. Okay. I make a few tinctures. I have chaga tincture, alder juniper. That's one that no one knows too much about. Um, well, tell us about it. <laughs> alder and juniper, to, I put the two together. They, the alder grows where it's wet in pretty damp areas, so it's good for the urinary tract uh, system. So you take the alder and juniper and put it together because juniper is very, very good as an antibiotic. Okay. And it'll take care of a urinary tract infection in two to three days without destroying anything in the body. Cool. Mm -hmm. And what was the other tincture you had? Uh, chaga. Okay. Now, a few years ago, probably about two and a half, um, the World Trade Organization uh, designated chaga as a medicinal mushroom. And they have made the statement that many people that have had cancer use chaga, and they have very, a very good success rate with it. So it helps with people. It built. It has. Uh, it's very high in antioxidants and minerals, and it builds the immune system. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So mm -hmm. Sunshine Apothecary is on the web, or you can give Debbie a call. Yes. At your number. Two zero seven four one six four eight eight five. So check it out. See what she has online, and. Um, there's a lot of things that can be very helpful. I'm going to try some of the, um, the cream, the face cream. Oh, it's amazing. I want to try some <laughs> of the face cream and see how that works. What plans do you have for the future? Well, I have 45 wholesale accounts that keep me very busy making product for them. Um, I do trade shows. Uh, right now I'm very busy booking all my shows. I uh, just did a last minute one before we got here. <laughs> um, and I do them all over New England, mostly Maine, and uh, some down in Massachusetts, New Hampshire. <clears throat> do you do any um, presentations where you talk about the different I products? haven't done classes for a long time. However, I've started doing them again. I teach feng shui class. Okay. I um, have one I did a couple years ago was really interesting. interesting. It was called Backyard Medicine. So we would go out, we would pick what we were using, and we would come in. I had cutting boards all set up. So after we learned about the herbs, then we would take them, process them, put them in the oils, make a tincture with them, and then they would set for their two weeks. In the, in the sun, you would put an oil, and out in the tincture would go into the dark and it would set for two weeks, and then the tincture you shake every day. The oils, I usually just let the sun do the work. And, um, and then a couple weeks later, we would have the next class, and then we would learn about a new herb, work on that, and then process what okay. we had done the two weeks before that. Right. right. Very interesting. <clears throat> So now you said something about this chaga mushroom? Yes. Now where does that come from? Okay. Chaga is what they call a woody mushroom. 
Okay. And it grows on a white, yellow, black, gray birch tree. And you usually find it deep into the woods. Uh -huh. It sometimes will come off the tree very easily. If the tree gets struck by lightning, um, so the tree's injured. And then the chaga forms on that injury, kind of like acting like a band-aid while the tree repairs itself. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, and it looks like a burnt piece of black goo. <laughs> but it's very, it, being called a woody mushroom, it's very hard. And it will be just like a piece of wood. And uh, if you grind it, you have to use the old-fashioned um, meat grinder that's in the back of the bottom of the cupboard, you know, way in the back. The one that you don't use anymore? Right, the one you don't <laughs> use. <laughs> okay. And um, now I understand you have a men's line also. Well, I have a few products for men. Um, I have a, a beard oil, which is not on my website. So it conditions, it has calendula in it as well, uh, that conditions the hair. Then I also make a face cream. Uh-huh. Uh, and it's called Manly Face Cream. It's made the exact same way that the women's line of face creams are made, but it has two essential oils, Buddha Wood, which comes from Australia, and Cedar Wood, and those are very earthly, manly smelling. Oh, cool. And it's not overpowering, you know, you don't smell like a Christmas tree or anything, but just earthy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for an earthy man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds great. Okay, and then you also have some anti-aging um, I have an, um, products? I call it for aging skin. It has, carrot juice is very good for the skin, and carrot seed oil. Some of the more expensive essential oils are in it are all for wrinkles and just, um, you know, smoothing out those lines. Right. So you have helichrysum sandalwood, frankincense, myrrh, rosewood. <clears throat> and it's when you open the jar, it's pretty orangey looking. Uh -huh. And it just feels really nice when it goes on the skin. Okay, you have one for the morning and one for the evening? Um, I, lemon Lift is a very good one to use in the morning. Okay. Uh, you can kind you put it on, you, it smells very okay. lemony, and you can kind of feel it tightening up your skin. Cool, okay. So, um, in the future, you're planning on having more seminars and more teaching? Um, right now, I'm really busy setting up my shows, having, um, uh, you know, getting ready for them. It takes a lot of work to prepare for the show. Okay. Uh, every week, I make prim. I have a helper that helps me with that. And usually, every Wednesday, we make 24 batches, sometimes more, because some of the bigger shows, I sell a lot. And um, <clears throat> now, do you have the shows on your website? Uh, yes, my Facebook page is right in the website, okay. and we always put on where we're going to be and Good. and the information about the show. Okay, well, well, we'll be sure to look you up. Okay, <laughs> and try and get there. And what's your web address? Sunshineapothecary.com. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, with everything that's happening with the fires and, and all the, the burning uh, in different areas in the world, have you found that um, is making it difficult for you to get the essential things you need for your... As of yet, I have not had any problem getting anything. Okay. Most of the stuff that I use is right at my sister-in-law's house on, uh, in Stetson, Maine, <laughs> and she has 88 acres. And she has a little bit of chaga in the woods, but mostly, you know, with the whole field of juniper, okay. alder, a lot of my product is right there. And I also, at that location, have a 36-foot-wide medicine wheel garden. It's a circle of stones. It has pathways in it that's marked north, south, east, and west. And a lot of my product grows right in there. I've got a big patch of comfrey. And... <clears throat> What else do you have in there? Uh, uh, well, there was St. John's Warp. It only, it only is there for two years, and then it has to go somewhere else. I have Yellow Dock, um, Yarrow. Yarrow is another one of my favorites. You can, if you're bleeding really, really bad, you can take a Yarrow leaf or the flowers, 
roll it up, kind of activate it, and put it on, and it stops the bleeding immediately. It's interesting. It's just an amazing herb. Yeah, interesting. Okay. So I always have a lot of that growing there. Cool. Well, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for having me. We would like our viewers to understand that while we have used these products and found them to be of a quality and effectiveness for which we can personally vouch, we are not involved in any way with production, commercialization, promotion, or marketing of these products. Furthermore, we have neither requested nor received any compensation of any kind for featuring these products on display and discussed in this program. Should you desire to purchase any of these products, you may proceed directly to sunshineapothecary.com at your own discretion. Thank you. Then you do the same process. You read it the first time through to get the sense Second time through, you find out where the emotion takes over. Third time through, you read it to see where the changes are before that emotion arrives. Fourth time through, you're looking for what, how you can attach it to yourself, what meaning you can give it for yourself. And the fifth time through, you're looking for what it is that you can be doing in that moment. Empowering Women Everywhere is a show designed with women in mind and for the men that love them. I'm your host, Nan Gill. Our community is comprised of many individuals that are making a difference, joining together to make this world a place that works better for everyone. Please join us to get involved with other like-minded people and learn of their amazing projects. If you are one of those wonderful people giving your time and energy to help others, Please call us to schedule a show about you and your projects at 845-294-7500. There is no cost for not-for-profit organizations. You get a free copy of your show and a 30-second commercial spot about your work. Let's all join together to make our community the best that it can be. Visit us at empoweringwomeneverywhere.tv. Let us help you to make your voice be known.